Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing wonderful. All right, let's see what's going on, Virgos. Today's reading is going to be for Virgo. We're going to see what's going on. I do want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your subscribes. They're all so, so, so greatly appreciated, guys. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, okay? All right, we're going to get right into this. All right, guys, I do want to let you know that this, this channel is, is a Virgo is predominantly for Virgos. I do do other signs, but a lot of times it's because I want our Virgos to know what's going on with their sun sign, their star sign, their moon sign, what's going on, why why things are occurring for them. Also, to, to it's kind of so they can know what their companion or a potential companion is up to or what's, what's going on in life. All right. But most... I do do Virgo readings every day, seven days a week. All right, guys. And I do want to thank every last one of you for joining me. Again, if you have not yet subscribed, please do so, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, this is for Virgo. I call on my angels that protect us. I call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us and the goddesses that gives us our strength. Show us. Show us what we need to see for Virgo. So we have the sun first out. Hmm, some happiness and some joy. We have the nine of water. There we go. Hmm, that's wish fulfillment. Wow. And we have the four of air. That's some healing, meditation, and rest. Wow. Guys, you have some happiness coming your way, some success. Something, some type of wish fulfillment, and it's gonna it's gonna help you to heal. We have the five of fire. Yeah, after some type of conflict, mm. you've been fighting some type of battle. I'm definitely getting this here. For some of you guys, it could have been competition in in something, but that that won't happen. That's not gonna be there. There's a conflict. Yeah, you've been, for some of you guys, there's definitely been some comp competition. Some, 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 something that's been annoying, annoying you. So we have the sun, we have wish fulfillment, we have healing and meditation. There's something that you're contemplating on, something that has definitely kind of stressed you out brought you a little bit of conflict but there's been a competition here we also have the four of fire this is i feel like this is coming together with someone we have renewal hmm. Hmm. and then we have the two of fire all right let's see i tried to get them all into the camera so we can clarify. Hmm. You have a decision to make. For some of you guys, there could definitely be somebody that's going to ask you to marry them and you'll have to make a decision. Yeah, we have Ace of Water. But what you don't see coming is that you have new love coming. You have the Three of Water. You have Transformation. That's the Tower. There's, some, there's a major change happening in your life. And it's something that you're going to be able to celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. There's a new offer for some of you guys. There's a new job opportunity coming your way. 
for some of you guys it's going to make you famous and look the chariot it's coming fast yeah look at that six of water wow your future is there's something that you're working on right now that's going to bring you great fulfillment great happiness great success great abundance guys there's definitely something here that's going to change your life for some of you guys you will become famous and let me tell you with the chariot here it's it's gonna it's happening fast it's what you don't see coming there's an offer that's coming to you in the mail some type of form of communication is coming towards you it's going to change your life you're going to be celebrating with friends but there's also a new love coming your way that's what you don't see coming I feel like at some point in time some of you guys you were competing with someone for something let's see let's see what's going on here I don't want to drop the camera because I did that earlier <laughs> didn't I didn't judge the length of this cord well enough all right let's see what's going on here show me Holy Spirit show me what I need to see for Virgo I do wish you all a wonderful day an absolutely wonderful and blessed day if you have not yet watch the spiritual message video that I did earlier today please do so mm. all right Holy Spirit show me what I need to see for Virgo what's the Sun what's the Sun for Virgo Actually, let's do this because I feel like these cards are so a ways from me. That way, they're all in this. Yeah, all right. We can get them all in. There we go. That's better. And it allows me some work room. All right. So show me the sun for Virgo. Show me the sun, Holy Spirit. So we have the high priestess in the reverse. And we have the sun in the reverse. Hmm. The sun is strong Leo energy. Let's start there. We have the high priestess as Pisces and Cancer. That's Pisces and Cancer energy. Oof. but I have the high priestess in the reverse and the sun in reverse and that's telling me that there's someone that is not happy there's something sad here why because somebody has not been listening to their intuition what is this I'm getting a feeling that you want yeah there's a new beginning in love here I feel like for some of you guys you want a new beginning in love and you're kind of sad because it hasn't happened as of yet you're kind of meditating on I feel like for some of you guys you're reminiscing on past events you're thinking about uh, when you were at one point in time happy and what brought you joy. And then you're thinking about what happened when the sun stopped shining. Hmm. There's something that some of you guys you want. We have the fool. At some point in time, some of you guys, you were foolish with some type of new love affair that you, you, you kind of just took the leap yeah and, it's, and it did not bring you happiness though 
you thought that for some of you guys someone came towards you very fast and with the sun here that could definitely be a, a leo they came to you very fast and you leaped into it you thought this was love you thought they were offering you a true cup of love you thought finally there's success in this relationship but no this person was immature you jumped into this too fast and due to that you walked away very very sad though what is this nine of water what is this nine of water you thought you were going to this, you thought this person was your wish fulfillment you thought this person was your soulmate but we have the two of swords in the reverse you found out some truth though you found out the truth and once you found out the truth you had to protect yourself from this person look page of swords yeah this person was lying to you page of swords in the reverse this person was lying to you hmm. show me holy spirit show me what i need to see you definitely thought this person was your wish fulfillment though yeah this person was a king of cups in the reverse somebody that had unstable emotions somebody that did not truly love you and whether you had to protect yourself from this person oh car down yeah temperance you, the divine stepped in the divine stepped in to protect you 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 finally you finally use your intuition and your magic. They wanted to flip. The divine had to step in though. Look, the devil. Yeah, this person was not a good person. This person was not a good person, guys. This person was a devil. This person this person was has some type of obsessive behavior. Probably an addiction. Yeah, we have the king of cups in the reverse we have the page of swords in the reverse we have the two of swords in the reverse and the devil in the reverse this person was not a good person and the divine had to step in to protect you from this person then we have the four of wands all right this this is hmm are the divine is going to be stepping in to protect you from this person but I feel like this is past energy. So we have the four of wands on the four of air that's a coming together for something, some type of event. Oh, so you are going to be coming together with someone at an event, a king of pentacles. All right, so you're contemplating. Some of you guys, you may, king of pentacles as Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn king of cups that's scorpio cancer pisces but we have the chariot i feel like for some of you guys you have a king of pentacles that's going to be coming your way after dealing with some something this is this is current energy i'm getting there you definitely have a king of pentacles that may be coming your way after dealing with something they're meditating on a decision they're having to fight off some type of battle here with the chariot they're having to deal with something before they come your way there's a there's a knight of swords in the reverse i feel like this is somebody else's energy somebody that's not going to be happy yeah, somebody's going to be very upset that you have moved on or that this person so sorry i that this person is going to be choosing you there's going to be some conflict and some competition here or there is competition we have the hangman somebody's going to be leaving their past in the past though somebody's going to be walking away from their past hmm we have the ace of swords i feel like this person is watching you and we have the three of wands and the reverse you have somebody from your past watching you somebody that 
you've been waiting for or that may have been waiting for you somebody that has been lying to you but they've been watching you on social media and we have the ten of pentacles in the reverse yeah that's not they're not going to be this is not you have multiple people in your energy virgo let's just go there you have this person here that the divine is having to step in to protect you from hmm this person you thought you thought this was going to be a new love affair but it is not you have the divine you have someone coming in after healing a situation or getting out of a situation you have somebody coming your way you also have somebody here in this energy whether it's on that person's behalf or on your behalf this person is not happy this person is going to come in and communicate with you they're going to figure out a way of communicating with you i feel like for some of you guys the person that's coming your way their ex is going to communicate with you and they're not going to be happy they're they're not going to have some good words from what i'm seeing here but i'm definitely feeling like hmm, it's leaving your past life behind somebody from your past is watching you though What's going on here, spirit? What is this? We have the emperor. And they see that you have transformed since being in this relationship with them. Somebody from your past is watching you. They see that you are glowing. You're growing. Your life. You're, you, they see that you're happy in your new life. They see that you may have started your own business. They see that you you see you abundant. They see you living your best life. That's definitely what I'm getting here. For some of you guys, the person that could that's coming your way could definitely be an authority figure. Yeah, we have the three of cups in the reverse. Hmm. Somebody wants to come towards you, and they're very sad that they can't come towards you. Because they see that you're doing better without them. We have the Six of Pentacles. Now they want to come in, though. They want to give an equal give and take. This is definitely somebody from your past that wants to come back your way. One point in time, they were not giving you an equal give and take. We have the Ace of Pentacles, but they want to come in with an offer, with a solid offer. For some of you guys, you could definitely be getting a new job opportunity. But this person is having to find the inner strength. And the will to come in and offer you. Yeah. They want they're ready to put in the work now. They don't want to lose their investment. That's you. They want a renewal. They want to come together, some type of partnership. But they're still keeping secrets though. And we have the hermit. That's you, Virgo. You know the truth. Yeah, you're in separation from this person. You're listening to your intuition. Show me, Holy Spirit. Show me what I need to see. All right. We have the magician. You're manifesting. You're spend you you're spending your time alone. You're in solitude. You're manifesting. This is you. This is your energy. And we have the nine of wands in the reverse. You're not stressed out about anyone, and you're not going to reach out to anyone. Look, Queen of Wands. Yeah, you know your worth. You absolutely know your worth. Let's see what's going on here. You're listening to your intuitions, I tell you that much. Yeah. I feel like you definitely have an earth sign coming your way. 
but they have a they have a knight of swords in the reverse to deal with somebody that is not going to be happy with them choosing you over them you definitely have someone that I feel like that's past energy somebody that came in and they told you lies to get close to you and I feel like it's somebody that kind of caught you when you were vulnerable and you thought this person was going to be your wish fulfillment you thought this person loved you and you were very foolish you took that leap without questioning their that person's integrity is definitely what I'm getting here but I see a change coming there's new love coming your way and you have a lot of opportunity like there is abundance coming in you're going to be getting <clears throat> some of you guys are going to be starting a new business but you know what I'm getting here guys if you focus just focus on yourself focus on your work focus on your career focus on your look the divine is going to serve you with the person that the divine finds for you that is true but right now I feel like the divine wants you to focus on yourself don't worry about love love is coming love is coming because the thing about it is you've manifested this love you've prayed for this love but the divine says no 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 you prayed about it now leave it with me you go and do what's needed for your life so that's what you guys need to do that's what you guys need to do what's the advice holy spirit what's the advice even though I pretty much just gave you the, the advice. All right. Show me. Show me what I need to see for Virgo. What's the advice for Virgo? All right. Hibernation and regeneration. Yes. Yes, which we saw here with the hermit. You know the truth. You see it. You see clear as day. You're listening to your intuition. You're manifesting your dreams are going to be coming true. Whatever it is that you've manifested, you have the power and the will to make it happen. Spirit is saying, you go stay in, go into hibernation if you're not. Stay away from those that wish you harm. Stay away from those that do not wish you well. Okay, focus. Focus on you. Focus on what you want. The divine is going to be bringing in love for you. Right now, I feel like you guys need to you need to focus on your finance, your finances, focus on your business, focus on what it is that you need to apply yourself to. What happens is if you go and try and get into a relationship right now, you have to spend the energy and the time to get to know that person, which will take away from what it is, take away from your obligations, take away from what you are you've been working towards. You've already halted so much time in your life. You cannot say that you disagree. This is your time. This is your time, Virgo. Focus on yourself. The divine is going to bring you someone that will love you deservingly. Guys, if this message resonates with you, hit that like button. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so. Until next time, Virgo. Bye-bye.